Okay, now before you actually run the k-means clustering analysis, you're going to need, R is going to need some more information it needs to know how to run it, so it needs to download a package that somebody else has already built for R. And the great thing about R is it's really easy to install these packages. So you just type in a command install dot packages and in parentheses you type in sk means and we put a comma so that in that sk means is in quotation marks and you type in dependencies equals true and in computer programming data science uh, whenever you are doing this type of thing d dependencies is a vocabulary word you might come across it just means anything that this package depends on we will also install those uh, other packages if we need to so click that and it's gonna pop up please select a CRAN mirror for use in this sec session you just oops this popped up that's my previous video finishing so you just pick the one that's closest to you usually there is one in Texas let's see here yep USA Texas so we'll click that one it's gonna go ahead and download that and hopefully it doesn't take too long if it does take a long time I will pause this and come back when it finishes All right, looks like it finished pretty quickly. And now we need to actually make sure that we've got the library opened up and ready to use. So we just type in library sk means and it's ready to go. So now we're going to save another file. Or rather, not another file, but we're going to create another data frame. It's going to be called wine data.clusters and to that we are going to assign the output of our k-means cluster analysis so we choose sk-means as our function we type in wine data dot transposed because that's the data frame we're going to use to do the analysis we're going to choose the number of clusters we want why don't we just choose four here since we chose three in the excel example in the previous videos and then we will choose our method and we will go with genetic and that is more or less the same as the evolutionary algorithm that we chose in Microsoft Excel however the one in R is much more powerful so click enter and wow look how fast that completed when it took forever to do that in Excel that is the power of R so now if we take a look at wine data dot clusters it should be holding our output and you can see it says a hard spherical k-means partition of 100 objects that is our 100 customers into four classes that is our four uh, clusters and remember we could do the great thing about R is we could have you know like 50,000 customers 100,000 customers and it's still gonna run this pretty fast whereas in Microsoft Excel it would take forever and if you used solver really that was that was a fake analysis just to explain how k-means works you would never really use that uh, that method in real life uh, you'd want to use something more powerful like R or uh, another anal another analysis tool um, and then you see class sizes so you can see 17 35 17 and 31 so that means there's 17 people in cluster 1 35 in cluster 2 and so on and you can see what command we actually typed in here to get this and another thing we can do is say type in wine data dot clusters and we can access a specific row and say we wanted to do cluster say we wanted to figure out um, okay let's see Adams one two three four five six so Barnes is in row six so we could type in this and it's gonna tell us which cluster Barnes belongs to 
and we can do that for any one of our rows. It's going to tell us, okay, so Martin was in row 50. He's in cluster 4. Okay, so that's how you actually do the k-means clustering in R. In the next video, I'll show you how you would go about interpreting these clusters in R.